Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is another tutorial for the new Boston. Uh, in this lesson we're going to be talking about file uploads. Now this is a really, really popular topic because lots of websites now tend to deal with file uploads in uh, one way or another. It may be, um, for example, uploading an image or uploading a document or um, even uploading something that needs to be processed at some point. So how do we handle file uploads in PHP? Now it's relatively easy to handle file uploads in PHP and um, for the purpose of this tutorial um, if we just open up my browser you can see that I've created um, an uploads folder here. The script that we're currently working with is upload.php and um, we have a, a different another directory inside this directory called uploads now the purpose of this tutorial is not to talk about security in file uploads it's just simply how we take a file um, allow the user to select a file from their computer and then where and then send it to a specific directory um, as this tutorial stands the code in it it's not safe to use on a web server because in actual fact um, the user will be able to upload any file at all for example they could upload a PHP file um, and they could mess around with uh, with your uh, server and pretty much any way they like um, as with exe files things like that executable files so in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to upload but we're not actually going to be learning how to protect against it. There is another tutorial I have um, in this same file upload series um, with the security um, discussion in there and how to secure against your form data. So how do we start? Well we're going to start with a form first of all and we're going to create the form in exactly the same way as you'd usually find. So our form action we're going to be going back to upload.php so we're going to be processing the file data inside our tags up here and the method is going to be post. Remember we're sending a large amount of data so we want the method to be post. Now there is one additional attribute you need to supply in this form uh, tag and what we need to do is we need to um, supply the enc type. Now this is the way that the, uh, the, the data in the form is uh, encoded when it's sent and we need to specify this to be uh, multi-part oh, multi and it's forward slash form and then a hyphen and then data. So this is basically going to allow us to process the form and enable um, file uploads and we're sending a large amount of data and this is the encoding type this just tells uh, when we process it tells uh, how we're going to um, encode the data so now we need to go on to um, allowing the user to uh, upload a file now you may have come across this before but we use input type type um, and this is file so this has already created our, thi uh, our, um, our button our browse button if you like and I'm just going to call the name of this file so um, let's just break down and we'll create uh, a submit button which is probably important so submit and name or value rather is submit okay so let's refresh our form and see uh, our page and see what we've got okay so we've got an option to uh, choose a file here and a submit button when you do click submit we're going remember we're submitting back to the upload.php page so if I come up and I click choose file, uh, we're presented with a dial, um, a sort of a, an open file box where we can choose a file type. Now in this tutorial, um, or in the next tutorial one we did with security, we're only going to allow files with the JPEG extension to be uploaded. So in this case, all these pictures here are JPEG files. So if I was to click on a file, for example, the file name's displayed, that's just how my browser displays things. It might look a little different in uh, other browsers and then I can click submit. Now at the moment nothing's happened because uh, we don't have an area inside here or a function inside here that's going to process our file upload. So we've submitted the file, everything's worked, but now we need to um, grab the name of the file, the temporary location of the file. In case of um, comparing file sizes, things like that, and extensions, um, uh, well for the extension we need the name um, but just as an example here I'm going to create a few variables and then show you how to uh, grab the data um, of the file or different parts of data so we use um, well, in this case I'm calling this name this is going to be the file uh, the, the file name of the file that's uploaded so it's dollar underscore files 
and then here we put the the name of the uh, the variable name so this in this case is file because it corresponds to what we've put in the form here so that's file and then just like when we use associative arrays because this is uh, stored as an associative array we use um, a brackets next to it and in here we just type name now what this will do is this will show us the file name of the file that we've uploaded so hopefully when we click submit uh, this is here is going to be picked up by this here and then we're going to grab the name which is the file name and then echo it out I've just put an echo in front of there so let's give that a try we'll click choose file and I'm going to click this here so this is called Worsley underscore Nicola underscore one dot JPEG so if I click submit above here we've echoed out the name of the file so in f actual fact as this page stands at the moment we've gathered data about the file and it's still there for us to use so we can uh, specify a few other as well so uh, let's just delete that echo um, another is size so this is going to echo out the uh, the size of the file or store the size of the file so we use exactly the same structure and it's just size in here instead so it's name for name, size for size. Uh, we also have um, the type of file. So we have type, and that's dollar underscore files again, and that's file because that's our the name of our um, form field. And then we just have type. Now the temporary location um, or the temporary name of the file is a bit different, and I'll explain what this is and uh, why uh, we need it basically. And this is t um, tmp underscore name. Now, the temporary name is slightly different to the other um, attributes in this case. What we have here is when we do process the file upload, each file is sent to a temporary location on your server. So I've just uploaded this file um, here called Worsley underscore Nickel underscore one dot JPEG. This has been stored in a temporary location on... Oh, this has been stored in a temporary location on my server, ready for us to process it and put it somewhere um, relative to where we want it. So at the moment, we don't actually have anything in file um, in this uploads folder. Although we've processed um, this file upload, we haven't actually moved it yet. So bear that in mind. This is the temporary uh, location. We also have this error um, error uh, that we can access here. So uh, that basically uh, returns an error. Um, I think it returns zero if there's no error, um, but one if there's a there's been an error processing that. But we're not really going to look at that um, just yet.